So I recently watched the Locksmith animation debut called Ron's Gone Wrong. It's a film where our main character, who is a young boy named Barney, gets a Bebot as a late birthday gift, only to find out that his Bebot is defective. Hi, insert registered name. I am your, your, your. My Bebot. Bebot. One of the main issues with Barney's Bebot, Ron, is that Ron wasn't able to download all the programs it needed from the cloud. As a result, certain programs that were designed for safety were never installed, which ended up leading to a scene that I found pretty interesting. There's a scene early on in the film where Barney, along with some bullies from his school, find out the hard way that, due to Ron not having certain safety features, that Ron is capable of violence. I said shut it! Shut up! Why did you hit me? Because I don't like you, Derp Droid. I don't like you, Derp Droid. Ow! Whoa! Ron's Gone Wrong is meant to be a family-friendly film, so no one gets seriously hurt and none of the characters die as a result of Ron's faulty programming. However, it's not difficult to imagine what horrible things could have been possible under a similar set of circumstances. Which is why in this video I also want to talk about the 2019 version of Child's Play. You are my buddy until the end. More than a buddy. You're my best friend. The setup for Ron's Gone Wrong and Child's Play are hilariously similar, despite producing very different results. To help illustrate this point, I'm going to compare both film setups, starting with Child's Play. The movie Child's Play features a tech giant called Kazlan, which produces a number of products including Buddy, which is a high-tech doll. Our main character is Andy, a young boy who struggles with making friends. Andy's mother, Karen, ends up giving Andy a defective Buddy doll as a birthday gift. That doll ends up being named Chucky. One of Chucky's main issues is that safety protocols that would have otherwise prevented Chucky from committing acts of violence have been removed. So how does this setup compare to the setup of Ron's Gone Wrong? Well, for starters, Ron's Gone Wrong features a tech giant called Bubble, which produces a product called Bebots. Our main character in this film is named Barney, a young boy who struggles to make friends. Barney's father and grandmother give Barney a defective Bebot as an early birthday gift that Bebot uh, ends up being called Ron. And as I've already said in the beginning of this video, Ron is missing safety protocols that would prevent him from committing acts of violence. So why are these films so different despite having very similar setups? There's a lot of different answers to this, but the most obvious one is that each film is just trying to tell a very different kind of story. Ron's Gone Wrong is a film about what friendship is and how friendship works, whereas Child's Play, on the other hand, is just... It's just a slasher film about a killer doll. It's, it's not really anything more than that. Since each film is trying to tell a different story, similar situations that may occur in each film are treated very differently. An excellent example of this is to look at how each film treats both Ron's and Chucky's first act of violence. Now, we've already talked about Ron's first act of violence earlier in this video. You know, when he's attacking bullies in a playground. After this incident, Barney tells Ron that Ron shouldn't hurt people. And you know what happens? Ron actually listens. For the remainder of the film, Ron does not physically hurt anyone else. 
This is a complete contrast to what happens in Child's Play. In Child's Play, there's a part early on in the film where Chucky is caught trying to strangle Andy's cat. And this is because not too long beforehand, the cat scratched Andy and, I don't know, Chucky just didn't like that so much. When Andy sees this, he stops Chucky from strangling his cat to death and tells Chucky that he shouldn't hurt anybody or anything. But, since this is a slasher film, Chucky does not listen. In fact, not too long after this scene, Andy comes back home from school to find that his cat is dead. In both films, you have a violent incident, then the main character tells them, don't hurt people, but then both films just go in totally different directions from there. You see, each film has a story that has different storytelling goals, and those goals will bend similar situations to meet whatever storytelling needs they have. You can't have a family-friendly movie about friendship if Ron's going around killing people. We can't have a slasher film if Chucky had actually decided to listen to Andy and just not kill people for the rest of the film. So yeah, these films are hilariously similar at times, but they're very different. And... I don't know, I really don't know why I made this video. You got me running, got me running. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it.